The Advent scripture for today is from Romans 5, 1 to 5. And the devotional was written by Herb Anderson. And it's called Divine Hope. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand. We exult in hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance. And perseverance, proven character, and proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. Psychiatrist Robert Coles observed a negative sequence in the people who burn out while serving others. He noted that prolonged weariness causes cynicism, bitterness, despair, depression, and burnout. When we rely on our own resources, we find that our strength is insufficient for the tough challenges of life. Thankfully, the, the Apostle Paul describes an alternative positive sequence when he observes that suffering produces per perseverance, character, and hope. Hope is the divine antidote for burnout. The adage states, where there's life, there's hope. A better statement would be, where there's hope, there's life. Hope is the power to keep on keeping on without experiencing burnout. Once a year at the Feast of Shavuot, later known as Pentecost, ancient Israel celebrated the giving of God's law at Mount Sinai. They considered the law to be a God-given gift. At Pentecost, God gave another, greater gift to his people, the Holy Spirit, also known as the Spirit of Jesus is the gift of God <clears throat> and the guarantee of our hope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope is different than a wish. We may wish for many things, and our wishes often end in disappointment, but God-inspired hope does not disappoint. The Spirit is the promise of things to come. No matter what challenges life may bring, we wait in hope for a better day. And the prayer is, Spirit of Jesus, make me a purveyor of divine hope. Amen.